So to start out with underground here, there was some challenges making sure that we were matching up all of our elevations. So we have our sanitary sewer coming through here. It actually runs under the parking ramp to leave the building where we could bring it in and meet up with the street. We also have the water service coming in and this will end up serving all of the units upstairs. This Corzan pipe will run into our mechanical room, run through our water softeners and our water heaters, provide a hot and cold soft water to the apartment units. That's a pretty big pipe coming in. Yep, we have a six inch uh, service and we'll end up with a two inch meter here uh, that the city will be dropping off later this week. And again, as you touched on, this will feed the entire structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the sanitary waste. What about the stormwater? I know that's very important and that's one area that the plumbers are in charge of as well. Right, so the stormwater on this job was very challenging. We do have a brand new house that's being built on the Mifflin Street side of this project. And that is where our storm sewer was coming from, was Mifflin oh, okay. Street. So the way that we had to coordinate with Stevens was to make sure that that house got built and the foundation was poured before we brought that storm sewer over. Usually we would have the storm sewer in the beginning of the project. Okay. This storm sewer was stubbed in actually just last week. So to control all of that roof water coming through the building and making sure we kept this building nice and dry throughout construction, we had lots of temporary dewatering systems set up, which was um, another aspect that you don't usually see on a project or it's not always the case. 